Before diving into the course, it's important to understand what GIS is and also we clear some common misconceptions about a GIS. Over time, a GIS has been described as a software and some has described a GIS as a map picking tool and others just say it's CAD. In reality, these descriptions are not concise enough to describe what a GIS is. So really, what is a GIS? GIS is an acronym that stands for Geographic Information System. GIS has a plethora of definitions from various scholars. To simply summarize, GIS is a set of computer tools that allows us to solve problems by working with data that is related to a specific location on the surface of the Earth. So in essence, GIS is more than just a map making system or a card because it does more sophisticated spatial analysis. For example, it combines different data about the real world into layers and from this data, it helps us make informed decisions. So um, let's talk about some applications of GIS. GIS operates on a number of levels. At its most basic level, geographic information system technology is utilized for computer cartography or simply put, map creation. But the true strength of GIS comes from its ability to evaluate attribute and geographic data using spatial and statistical approaches. Let's look at some applications. For agricultural applications, GIS can be used for farm management, pest tracking and control, yield prediction, even soil analysis. And we can also determine which crop should be planted based on the analysis. We can also use GIS to monitor the crop yield. Let's talk about public safety and emergency management. As we all know, time is an important factor in any successful rescue mission. Knowing where landmarks, streets, building, emergency service resources, and disaster relief places are located saves time and lives. Disaster relief teams and public safety workers need this information to save lives and prevent property loss. In meeting this need, GIS is a very, very essential tool. As we all know, survey entails determine the location of objects on Earth on the surface of the Earth. Companies are using global navigation satellite system to, to do this. That's the GNSS. So this data can be incorporated into a GIS system and it can be used to calculate areas. It can, used to be, it can be used to evaluate the data and also create digital maps. Now, that's not all. Um, some other applications of GIS include route selection of highways or pipelines, utility or facility mapping and management, site selection say we want to select the best site for um, a, waste, a waste site or we want to site a school or hospitals so we can also use GIS to make these informed decisions um, GIS can also be applied for sensors and unrelated statistical mapping it can also be used by the urban and regional planning for um, land use planning and management GIS can also be utilized in security the application of GIS are limitless so the, depending on the problem we are trying to solve, determines how, how much we could actually apply GIS. As we progress in this course, we'll learn more about GIS.